Irregardless. Not a word. Well, irregardless of that. Irregardless is a word, and we're duty bound to enter it. My name is Corey Stamper, and I am a lexicographer for Merriam-Webster. That means that I am a writer and editor of dictionaries. One word that gets a lot of vitriol is the word irregardless. There is a dictionary entry for irregardless. Irregardless is a word. This inspires specific vehement hatred in people. Irregardless, ex-boyfriends are just off limits to friends. I mean, that's just like the rules of feminism. Irregardless is a word. It is related to regardless. It is actually a blend of two words. It's a blend of irrespective and regardless. People hate it because they say that it has no use. Why not just use regardless? But actually, in the dialect that irregardless comes from, it has a specific use that doesn't translate well in print. It's basically an emphatic use of regardless. So if you're a native speaker of certain dialects that use irregardless, you use irregardless to shut down further conversation on a topic. I might say, Dad, let me borrow the car, I'm a really good driver. And he'll say, regardless, I'm not comfortable. I'll say, oh, but come on, I'll get it detailed and I'll put gas in it. He'll say, irregardless, no. The point of the irregardless is to shut down conversation. Because you're always late and you take no responsibility for your actions. Irregardless! So, irregardless is a word, it has a specific use in particular dialects. That said, it's not part of standard English. And so, especially if you're writing or if you're speaking in formal places you want to use regardless instead, because if you use irregardless, people will think you're uneducated. 